To achieve success in trading, the importance of backtesting trading strategies cannot be overstated. Without backtesting, traders are essentially flying blind, relying on intuition and guesswork to guide their decisions, which can be a recipe for disaster in the fast-paced and unpredictable world of trading. Despite its importance, many traders tend to avoid backtesting their strategies due to the significant amount of hard work and time it requires. Manual backtesting can take several hours, even for a few months' worth of historical data, and the results can be prone to errors due to human biases and other inaccuracies. As a result, many traders rely solely on their instincts or advice from others, which can be a risky and unreliable approach to trading. But what if I tell you that you can perform backtests over years of past data, not even in minutes, but in seconds? By the end of this video, you'll be able to backtest your strategies in seconds and even create your own indicators. You'll be able to do all of this, even if you've never done coding before. Stick till the end because today, you're going to learn something that will take your trading to the next level. So let's begin. PineScript, the language of trading. PineScript is a revolutionary programming language created by TradingView that has taken the trading world by storm. It allows traders of all levels to create and test their own custom indicators and trading strategies with ease. With PineScript, the possibilities are endless. You can backtest your strategies, visualize your data, and even build automated trading bots that execute trades on your behalf. Best of all, you don't need to be a programming expert to use PineScript. With its intuitive interface and user-friendly syntax, anyone can start creating powerful trading tools in a matter of minutes. So, let's start with the basics. It basically has two primary uses. To create custom indicators. To backtest trading strategies. Part 2. Creating indicators. Let's start by creating indicators. PineScript has a simple syntax, which makes it beginner-friendly. It is best learned using examples, so we will create a very simple moving average indicator that inputs the length and plots the moving average of closing prices. First and foremost, head on to tradingview.com search for your favorite stock. For today's example, we are taking Apple stock, so we'll search for an open Apple stock chart. This panel on the right is our watch list, but I will remove it to increase the space on screen. Open Pine Editor. Paste the code given in description. This code calculates a simple moving average, SMA, based on the closing price and plots it on the chart. Let's break it down. 1. Slash slash at version equal sign 5. This line specifies the Pine script version we're using. 2. Indicator. This line tells the compiler that we're creating an indicator and defines the indicator's properties, like its name and whether it's an overlay, which means whether it will be displayed on chart or not. 3. Input. This function allows users to customize the indicator's settings, like the length of the moving average. First value inside bracket is the default value. We can also set minimum and maximum values. 4. TA.SEMA. This function calculates the simple moving average. If we wanted exponential moving average, we would simply replace TA.SEMA instead of TA.EMA. If you want to know more about what functions are available on TradingView, I'll leave a link to the PineScript reference manual in description. 5. Plot. This function plots the moving average on the chart. We can provide the color and width of the line here. You can also save your indicator by clicking on the name. Give it a name, then click Save. So let's save it. Now simply click Add to Chart, and our indicator will be plotted on the chart. We can change the length by clicking on the settings icon next to indicator name and giving some other length. We can do this because we defined length as an input. You can also see that indicator name is same as we gave it in the first line of our code. Currently we have chosen source as close, but we can define that also as an input using input source. Let's try it. And just like that we can now also change the source of our moving average. What if we want our indicator to plot EMA instead of SMA? If that's the case, just change this S to E, so that it becomes TA.EMA instead of TA.SMA. You can also change the color and width of the indicator line, and if you want to see it on a different time frame, simply change the time frame from top left button, and your indicator will auto-adjust. And, if you want to see it for a different chart, simply type in the name and select it. And boom! This is the basics of creating a custom indicator in PineScript on TradingView. If you want to try it, just copy the code from description 
and paste it in TradingView's Pine Editor panel and click Add to Chart. Use the link in description to get a free $1.30 bonus on registering a new account on TradingView. They also offer a free 30-day trial to test out their pro features. Now let's move on to creating and backtesting strategies. Part 3. Creating a Trading Strategy Let's create a simple trading strategy using PineScript. We'll make a simple moving average crossover strategy with two moving averages, a fast one and a slow one. We'll use a 20 period and a 50 period SMA respectively. We'll buy when 20 MA crosses above 50 MA, and we'll sell when 20 MA crosses below 50 MA. Open Pine Editor, click on Open then click on New Strategy. We will remove our created indicator from the chart just to keep things simple and clear. Paste the code for crossover strategy given in description. Save the strategy just like we saved the indicator by clicking on the name and giving it a name and clicking on Save. This line specifies the Pine script version that we will using to write our script, strategy. This function tells the compiler that we're creating a strategy and defines the strategy's properties, like its name and whether it's an overlay, meaning whether it will be displayed on the chart. Input. We use this function again to allow users to customize the fast and slow moving average lengths. SMA. We calculate the fast and slow moving averages using the SMA function, crossover, and cross under. These functions detect when the fast moving average crosses above or below the slow moving average respectively. Strategy entry. This function generates long or short trade signals based on the crossover conditions. We have to specify explicitly different conditions for long and short by providing them as a parameter inside the function parenthesis. Plot. We use this function again to plot the moving averages on the chart, which makes it easier for us to see exactly when are we entering the trades. Now, click add to chart and boom, we get the results of our backtest instantly. You might be thinking that why is net profit so low? It is because of this setting in properties. Our order size is set to one contract and our starting capital is set to one million. Change the order size to percentage of equity and enter the value to 10% or 20%, then click OK. These are our updated results. We can see that our strategy has generated returns of around 337.24% in 224 trades. This graph shows increase or decrease in our initial capital with each trade. In Performance Summary tab, we can find much more details about the backtest, such as winning trades percent, losing trades percent, average win, average loss, and much more. In List of Trades tab, we have access to each and every trade that happened. We can fine-tune our strategies by changing the input variables in our strategy, and if we want to apply same strategy on different time frame or chart, simply change them like we did last time. Use the link in description to register a new account on TradingView to get a $30 bonus for free, and do check out their free trial. It has a lot of great features and options to improve your trading performance. I'll be providing many more trading strategies on this channel along with their codes for you to backtest and implement them, so make sure to subscribe. If you found this video helpful, please give it a thumbs up and share it with your fellow traders. If you have any questions or suggestions, feel free to leave them in the comments section below. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.